Today I have a skin retouching tutorial for you guys. I want to share with you how I retouch my portraits and I know there's lots of different methods that you can use for retouching but I find that this method works the best for me because it still keeps a lot of texture in the skin and still looks very natural. So today we're going to be looking at high frequency retouching. So we're going to start by duplicating the background layer twice and I'm going to do this by holding the shortcut command J. So there we have our duplicated layers and I'm going to go ahead and hide the top layer and select layer one. I'm actually going to rename these layers to low frequency and the top layer I'm going to rename to high frequency. So selecting our low frequency layer, we're going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and Basically, to create our low frequency layer, we want to blur the image so you can start seeing the colors of your subject's skin sort of start blending together. Now, you don't want to make it too low and you don't want to make it way too high either. So for this, I think I'm going to keep it at radius 5 because that looks like a good blur to me. Um, if your subject is further away, you're going to want to make the blur a lot less and if you have an even closer up picture than this, like super cropped in, then you're going to want to make the blur a little bit more. But I think for this photo at 5 is really good. So there's a little before and after and okay. Next I'm going to make the high frequency layer visible again and I'm going to make sure that is selected and we're going to head over to image apply image and this is the method to create your high frequency layer so the source is basically the image that you're working on so we'll leave that at that and then for the layer you want to select your low frequency layer for that you want to make sure that invert is ticked blending mode is on add opacity 100 none of these are ticked and I leave my scale at 2 and the offset at 0 so we'll just press ok and you'll see here that we've got an image that's super grayed out with just like a basic outline of our photo. So I'm going to set the high frequency layer blending mode to linear light. And you should pretty much end up with the same picture that you opened in the first place. So before we start getting into any editing, I like to make sure that the high and low frequency layers haven't made any changes to the original image. So we're going to do this by holding down the Alt or Option key and just clicking the little visibility layer icon on the background layer. So as you can see in the before and after, it hasn't changed anything at all. So I'll show you what I mean by any changes in the image. So we're going to click on low frequency and go back to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to bring the radius really high up so you can start seeing what will happen if your Gaussian blur layer is too high. So even if we had it at seven, you can see that it really starts making the image look super fake. So we're going to make sure that the radius isn't too high. So the image still looks like it did when you first opened it. So I'm just going to press cancel and undo whatever I just did. There we go. Okay, so with our low frequency layer selected, I'm just going to press Command J to duplicate it. And we're going to head over here and use our healing brush tool. And I have a brush at a hardness of 100, spacing at 25. And you want to make sure that the sample is set on current layer. So zooming into the picture, what we want to do with the low frequency layer is basically blend out all the colors, the lights and the shadows of the face together. So I'm going to use a brush at about size 70. So basically we're just going to get in there and start blending all these colors together. So with the healing brush tool, you need to sample a section of your image in order to be able to brush it in. So I'll just show you like a really harsh example. If I were to select this little highlight section and paint it over this dark shadowy bit, you'll really see the difference and you can tell that it just does not blend well at all. So what we want to do is, for example, if we're going to blend out this section here on the cheekbone is you want to select areas that look kind of similar. So I'm going to select here and start painting up here. 
So you can see that's already starting to blend out the colors here on the cheek and make it look a little smoother. There's no actual way to rush this when you're retouching. I think a good retouch honestly just takes time. And as you can see, I'm just using really short, quick brush motions and I'm sampling every kind of like three to five clicks of my tablet. So I'll just show you what that's looking like so far. And I'll give you a little before and after. There we go, you can see that it's really smoothing out the skin here. Now the reason that I love to use this frequency separation retouching technique is that you can blend out all the colors of someone's face and it still retains all the texture because of the high frequency layer. So you can basically just go to town with your healing brush tool and it won't start to look fake. So I'll just hide the high frequency layer for a second so you can see what we're actually doing. And this is just the low frequency layer that we're working on. So you can retouch on this layer and it's kind of easier to see what you're doing because you can see the highlights and the shadows a lot easier, but I probably wouldn't recommend it, especially if you're going to be retouching a large amount of images because it's probably not good for your eyes. But this is just to give you an idea of what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the high frequency layer visible again and just speed up the rest while I retouch the rest of this face. <laughs> Okay, so I would say that is pretty much done for the color blending and I'm just going to show you a before and after. So I'll zoom out a little bit. So here is a before and this is an after. And I'll do one a little more close up so we can see the details. This is before and this is after. And I feel like the low frequency layer is where the main retouching of the image happens. As you can see, like we've literally only blended together the colors of the image and it's looking so amazing already. And you really barely have to do anything on the high frequency um, to get the image looking finalized. I like to keep my edits super natural, so I barely do anything in the high frequency. Sometimes with a low frequency layer like this, I even bring down the opacity a little bit just so it doesn't look so flawless because I don't know, I like images that aren't super perfect. I feel like there's something a little more real about that. So I think at about opacity 68, 70% looks really good for this photo. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And now we'll move on to our high frequency layer. And on this layer, you can basically get rid of any textures on the skin. So little things like this or little hairs. And we're going to go ahead and do that with the healing brush tool again. So with your high frequency layer selected, I'm gonna go in with a super tiny brush cause I really, really wanna keep this looking very, very natural. And I'm gonna sample the skin right next to what I want to heal so this little speck here i'll do it again here this little two spots on the nose and maybe a little bit here on the forehead as well but yeah on the high frequency layer i'm very very careful not to do anything too dramatic i really only use a tiny brush and only go over the little spots that i need to and I don't touch anything else because I love when a portrait retains a lot of texture and looks so, so natural. So here we have a complete before and after without the high frequency and low frequency. So that's before and that's after. And that to me looks like a finished retouch portrait. I love that it still looks natural. I love that the skin has texture. 
I think it looks perfect. Um, the only thing else that I'm going to do to this photo is that on the day that we were shooting, it was very, very cold. So my model's nose is a little bit red. So I'm just going to create a new layer by using the shortcut Command Shift N, Enter. And with the brush tool, I'm going to keep it at mode normal opacity 100, flow 100. And I'm going to select a nice skin color. So maybe this here is very neutral. Oh, maybe this one up here near the nose. But basically something that's not pink. So nothing from the cheeks or around the eyes or over here. So something very neutral, like skin colored. And I'm going to bring the brush to a bigger size. And I'm going to soften the brush a little bit. And I'm going to change the layer blending mode to color and basically just start, whoops, I'm actually going to change the opacity of the brush to 20% because that was way too harsh. And I'm going to start painting over the nose in tiny little brush strokes like that. Might go over a few other little areas that I feel like stand out a little to me and you can also go under the eyes a tiny bit as well there we go I'll show you a before and after of the color that's before and that's after it's the most subtle change but I feel like it makes a little difference so there we have it. There's our final retouch photo. I feel like this is a really simple way to edit your images. I'll show you one more before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Before and after. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I actually have a free Photoshop action that creates this low and high frequency layer for you and it's available on digitalfilmactions.com. I'll leave the link in the description below. And if you have any questions about anything, please leave it in the comments and I'm happy to answer and help you with anything. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.